Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie Ware, President and CEO of Healing Plans Global. Here to discuss with you about the recovery phase of a crisis. A lot of patients um, I was asking, so I've been in the hospital for a week or two and now I'm just trying to get back to normal. Um, get back to your normal life. Um, it's fairly easy if you follow these simple steps. One, once you're out of the hospital, once you're out of a crisis, first thing you have to do is basically rethink your plan. Rethinking your plan basically means that, basically document what got you into that crisis, what events led up to all of the, all of the um, pain and things that I saw. We, sometimes we say, well, it just came from nowhere. But again, always retrace your steps. What happened? Were you too cold? Did you um, overexert yourself? Were you hydrated? You know, all those things you have to basically start making a record of. Always tell all my patients, keep a record of all your pain crisis. That way you can see what you're doing to actually help improve your health. So that's step one inside of the recovery is to basically document to see exactly what went wrong to basically put yourself into that pain crisis. Even as a caregiver, you can still do that as well for your parents, uh, for, 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 for your kids, excuse me. Uh, number two is make sure you have the proper nutrients in your system. Diet, 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 hydration, hydration, hydration. Notice how much I'm emphasizing that. Anything you put in your mouth is going to do one or two things. It's going to promote your health or it's going to take away from your health. So you got to make sure that as soon as you get to the hospital, you're not going to run out the IHOP or run to Denny's or get some, some of this food that you, you think you, you really want. You only want it. Your body doesn't need it done. You need to make sure that you're eating proper and also healthy. I'm not saying to go out and eat a bunch of salads. I'm saying go out and get all of the nutrients that you, you know your body really needs. Lean proteins, a lot of leafy green veggies, whether you juice it or you eat the veggies itself. A lot of leafy green veggies, as well as um, a lot of um, fruit as well. And again, hydrate, 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 not just with water, but something that has trace minerals inside of it. It's a great product out there. I'm not promoting it, but it's something I tell my patients that get something called Vitalite, V-I-T-I-L-Y-T-E, because of the fact that it's a all natural electrolyte replacement. Okay, it's a phenomenal product. You need to have that in your cabinet. It's one of my go-to things uh, for a lot of my patients. Make sure you have that inside of your cabinet. So hydrate, 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 um, as well as, again, move your body. You know, you got to make sure that these muscles are being stretched, being either lying uh, in bed for a day or two or a week or longer. Stretch your body. Start to get some sort of workout routine going on. I'm not saying hit the gym. Working out does not mean that you're going to a gym. It's stretching. It's doing a little bit of yoga. It's walking up down the stairs if you can. It's walking around a block if you can. You got to put these things into practice. So the best way to recover is basically how do you want to make your body stronger so you won't have that same crisis again. So that's why I tell my patients, make sure that you stay in the recovery mode as long as you can because you're really in a strengthening mode now. You're in a knowledge, bringing all the knowledge you can about what happened to your body, hydrate and nutri um, put the nutrients back in your body. And then the third thing is to recover by strengthening your body. You got to keep moving your body. You can't sit still and be uh, a set of the person because that's when you start to actually have more issues. It's an old Chinese proverb that says, a river that runs has no moss that grows upon it. But it basically means that the moss is the things that sort of clog the, the, the river up, makes it look all green and nasty, whatever. If a river's steady running, that won't happen. So the same thing with you and your body and also your blood cells. The more you can move your body, the less these situations are going to happen to yourself. Again, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-666-440-6243. Uh, I'll say it again, 1-866-440-6243. Or give, um, just look up, um, up on the web at www.healingblendsglobal.net. Thank you so much. <laughs>